Hey guys, yeah, uh, today I just want to be telling you guys pretty much a checklist of what to do before you have a litter. So, I can say uh, the important items that you need to, uh, to have a successful litter, don't touch my mic, is to uh, have a catheter. And uh, catheters are pretty much used for tube feeding and really controversial topic to, uh, about here but catheters and tube feeding is really important for uh, if you were to have a weak puppy that cannot suckle no more and uh, tube feeding is rather difficult and I've just learned it not uh, I've learned it recently and it's really risky procedure but uh, you can, you can look up on YouTube or I will be making a video on this uh, in the future when I do have puppies just to show you guys a real life example of how it works, what not to do and what to do and uh, if it ever does come down to it, it is a last resort if the puppies cannot, if the puppy cannot suckle no more so that's number one, have catheters available and ready and then number two is to have food uh, like you know meats and chickens and good foods for the moms to eat so that way she can stay hydrated and make sure she's hydrated with water too clean water too so that way she can stay hydrated and keep supplying milk and making milk and uh, at this time the female will look sucked up and stuff like that and then number three oh number three is to pretty much have let me take this off my mount number three is to pretty much have uh, an incubator or you know heat sources external heat sources uh, just for the litters alone so that way they can stay stay heated and stay comfortable and um, I, I generally don't recommend uh, like very hot sources if you are to use a red heat lamp make sure it's kind of turned away or make sure like half of the box that you're using where they're laying in is uh, half of it's heated up and then the other half is not so that way puppies can travel from heat from the hot to you know towards the semi cold so that way it, it's a balance of everything if you don't want it too hot so that way they don't die in heat stroke from that so they can die so and stuff like that and uh, or you can use a heat pad but I generally would recommend a regulating heat pad just for puppies and that's pretty much it for the list that you need and uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it and I uh, hope you guys I wish you guys luck and uh, you guys have a great day too and you guys are luck you know lucky with the litters and hope everything's all good you know but as, as I can say never everything is never guaranteed when it comes to with breeding puppies and having dogs Thank you guys so much peace out y'all thank you